intervene. You know what, Pat? Yeah, it's a We'll be yeah. right. We'll be right with you because we're going to go to Mike Max, who is at uh, Nicollet and 32nd right now. Maxi. Yeah, and, and it is breaking and breaking quick. You can see what's just happened here. This is the police force, and they are moving in, and they are moving in in force. Oh, you can are. see this just happened. People have dispersed everywhere. We're at 32nd and Nicollet. The state patrol we're seeing here. It looks like in general the state patrol and the, and the national guard, and they are moving due north, right towards what would be downtown Minneapolis. They won't get that far, but we're not far from the Wells Fargo building that is engulfed in place. We're also seeing we're told to get back here from the National Guard. They are armed. Uh, they are, if you're wondering where the, the police force has been, here comes a Humvee, uh, complete with the National Guard, and I'm not sure if there's a strategy or a plan to this and that they've got a number of people in, inside a certain perimeter, but they have showed up in force, and they are here, and, and they have decided to make quite a statement here. Uh, the, they are heading towards what, as I mentioned before, Wells Fargo was engulfed in flames, and there was looting going on, it looked like, at one of the ATM machines there. Uh, not that that was uh, uh, a catalyst for this, but it is a very impressive group of law enforcement agents that are moving down slowly uh, towards Lake Street, and I, I don't know if they're looking for a confrontation or if oh, they're just going to set up a perimeter here. Actually, they may be heading, I think, probably to the 5th Precinct that's up that way, where that Wells Fargo is, the post office there yes. is on fire, and also there's a, a stop and shop gas station where there was looting. We have, uh, David Schumann's been there for uh, a, a little while now, and, and it's just been continuously getting bigger and bigger, more uh, fires. Mike, we'll let you go yeah, so you can keep we'll going go there. We'll go as far it, as we can until they tell us that there's a perimeter here. Yeah. So, uh, uh, and that we're not conflicting you know, with Maxie, what it is that they're trying to do in their mission. But they are slowly walking towards it. And, yeah, they've given us the stay back uh, from, from here, but you can see what we're seeing here. It's quite a visual. Yeah, yeah give us an idea is. of, of, yeah. of, of yeah. numbers because ironically, I was just asking Pat Kessler at what point do, do, do the police intervene and then if we literally cut to you because just so you know, Mike, the Wells Fargo's okay. on fire, the post office is on fire, the stop and shop has been looted and the hibachi buffet's on fire. How many estimate, uh, give us an estimate of how many, how many troops, cops, state troopers oh. you saw? Yeah. Now, remember, we're just from one angle, so I don't know yeah. if they've enclosed this from all different angles. You can see fireworks going off there as well. But there were no less than 60 or 70, uh, and, and they were identified as State Patrol or, or National Guard. And then the Humvee came in behind them as protection, and they were fairly fortified in terms of uh, armory that they had with them. I, I don't know if they're stun guns or if uh, uh, what kind of weaponry it is, but uh, uh, they, they did go into a lot. And now you can see the fireworks going off. I have no idea if that has anything to do with the strategy or if that's just someone that has fireworks and has thrown them into the middle of a fire Ma over Did there they have because we're only about a block away from Wells Fargo. Okay, Maxie, we'll stay, we're going to stay with you. We want to talk to you. I don't know if David can hear me because I know that Lewis is over there, and I wonder if there's a way that he could get a shot from that angle. But um, Yeah, well, obviously, we want to, we want to see what happens when the, the, the state troopers get near the fire. Did you see any fire trucks uh, going in with them, Maxie? I'm sorry, are you talking to me? Yeah, did you see fire trucks going in with them? Yeah, yeah no fire trucks. Uh, and now we've got a loudspeaker, and they are issuing a warning that they are they were basically repeating what they're saying, that you're in violation and you must leave the scene. That is, uh, that is coming from the police force uh, to the people, and I would assume that that's uh, a first warning or something like that. The fireworks continue to go off, and I have no idea if there's any relevance to that or not. Uh, there's a small group. A lot of people dispersed when they saw the cops coming and the word traveled very uh, quickly that they were coming down uh, 34th and they were keeping uh, uh, tabs on them. A lot of people then dispersed, I think, in their cars and went home. Uh, a lot of those people were just observers, but you can hear in the background, right now they're telling everybody to clear out and I would assume that they're going to have a first warning, a second warning, and then I don't know if they're going to go in from there or not. Do you see the flames from where you're at or the smoke? 
We're, we see the smoke. If you can put it over there by Twin City Tattoo Wheel, you, I don't know if you can see that in the light, but that smoke is coming out. Now, some of that smoke is from what it, it smells like, uh, smoke bombs or something akin to that that the uh, military or the, or the uh, police force may be using right here. But you can see the smoke. I think it picks up on the camera, and it's just slowly drifting across in front of the tree there by the Twin City Tattoo. So the smoke is fairly heavy, uh, easier to see if you're out here on the scene than it is maybe uh, back there sitting watching on TV. But these troops, these troops are just slowly moving uh, towards the precinct and, and towards the uh, a possible point of confrontation. But it's pretty obvious that they have a... The Minnesota State Patrol violation of unlawful assembly. You are ordered to cease your unlawful behavior and disperse from the area immediately. So I don't know if you could pick that up, but that was the state we patrol we heard a lot uh, of PA system giving a final, maybe perhaps final warning that says they're going to keep coming and they will arrest you and that you're in violation, continuing to ask people uh, to disperse and go on their way. Easy